Good morning. Tom Smith, Rumble Seat Wine. And I'm Debbie Smith, from Turano. And we are at the Banfi uh, Winery in Malticino, Italy. As you can see in the back here, it's a, it's a retrofitted uh, castle from the 1800s? Uh, 15th century. 15th century, okay. <laughs> and uh, it's made into a beautiful hotel. And we're going to uh, uh, tour the uh, winery today. So the things you're going to be seeing now are uh, from the Banfi, uh, which uh, they have wineries basically all over the world. Thank you. Okay, here we are at the uh, entrance to the processing facility, the bottling company and so on for Banfi Wines. Yes. And Deb, you want to introduce our guide for today? Yes, this is Michela Dominici uh, with Banfi Vineyard. Okay, and she's going to take us on a tour of the facility. So, off we go. Off we go. Also the, the Brunello regular, Poggio de Mura, the uh -huh. Cum Laude, Sumus, Excelsus, all yes. the top line, mm -hmm. including Rosso di Montalcino and Bernero. Oh, okay. They're all manually picked okay. and they're all um, fermented in here. So what you see in here, it's a um, very revolutionary fermenter that you can only see at Banffy because this is something very, very new for the world. Mm -hmm. This had been designed by our engineer and our winemaker back in July 07. And this is operating since 07. It's still very new. Uh huh. Very this new. is uh, it's doing its fourth vintage now. The O10. Okay. Right. And as you can see, the main difference between uh, this special tank and the usual tank for fermentation is that this special tank is made by the combination of French oak and stainless steel mm -hmm. rather than stainless steel from top to bottom. Yes. So this was our own idea that we developed and designed, and we patented this. This is internationally patented with the name of Banffy Composite. Banffy Composite, that? Because it's actually a combination of two different things. For the first time ever together. Mm -hmm. Top quality is hand-picked, and only top quality is manually selected in the equipment that we have just seen outside that it's not working now and this is to show you how we manually select during the peaking season and the stainless steel company for the different pieces they made mm -hmm. them and everything came in here in distinct pieces so it was our staff assembling everything yeah. And the oak is supposed to be changed, replaced 100%, every eight vintages. So for eight years in a row, the oak will be fine. Then oak, it's something alive. It's not has a stainless steel that will last forever. Mm -hmm. So by the time the oak has been given tannins and flavors yeah. out to the wine for eight years in a row, at the end of the eighth year, it doesn't give anything out or too little, that's a waste of time. So we know that we have to replace the yolk every eight years. And this is the main difference between horizon. We also made uh, such a borderline in the floor. So you say this is the division oh, okay. from horizon and the regular side of the winery. Horizon goes back to 2007, even if we start working on the design in 2002. So it took five years to develop the design. And here is the uh, winery itself that took place in 81. So this is mostly the equipment that we already had on those days. So this is still updated now. Re imagine everything you see now going back 30 years. This was already so advanced and so updated on those days. So this was considered a futuristic winery since the beginning, when this was first made. Because in Italy, we've never seen such an operation. It's 
especially with large scale. Nothing of this didn't exist in those days. You see the top line? This is the only mean of transportation for wine. Yeah, everyone is independent. It can be washed and sanitized. Uh -huh. So they can carry so many different wines in, in a very quick process and very safe and very clean. Every single wine leads from this area to the second area by pipe. This is the only mineral transportation we have. Yeah, you see the pipeline? The start over there, they come all the way into here. And then you have hoses, uh, excuse me, hoses and flexible tubes to connect the pipe to the tank. And here it's a hundred and hundred of different tanks all computerized, different sizes, for holding the wine, storing the wine, not aging, this is considered storage. Those tanks are about 75 feet tall, because each one of them. Would be in oak. And that's another step. So this is considered the second step after fermentation before the oak. And you see the temperatures, they, they tell you what's going on for each single tent. Everything is temperature controlled and computerized. How big is the overall size of the, of the winery here? I would say that capacity wise this is over 25 million bottles size. The production is 10 million every year, uh -huh. but the full capacity, mm -hmm. it's more than double. Okay. Because you can have more than one vintage cap. Yeah. How many acres would this building be? Uh, the building is... Uh, square feet or uh, square I meters? Only know, okay, the square meters, 30,000 square meters. Let's say that a soccer field, it's 10,000 square meters. So three soccer fields oh. is the size of the building. Okay. And the size of the estate, it's 7,000 acres. 7,000 acres. In one contiguous piece of property. And that's just here, that doesn't include Piedmont either, does no, it? No, 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 no. Piedmont, it's, it's still got a different. Yeah. Piedmont, it's still part of the company, it's still owned by the Mariani brothers, yeah. but it's been a regali. Mm -hmm. So that is a distinctive label. Right. There are rows and rows and rows of these tanks, and there's other rooms that go off of this. There's just hundreds of these tanks. All right, in, in, in one of these towers right here, one of these tubes, Yes. how many bottles of wine are in one of those? Uh, approximately 45,000 bottles of wine, 750 milliliter size each. Is it all full? Is it all full? When they're full, they're full to the, to the top, yes. Mm -hmm. And this is where the wine is stored. So we're still yeah. stored. So okay. what you see over there, this is considered um, a carton filter or a cloth filter. So each single layer of cloth or uh, paper or carton is trapping the sediments, the big sediments of the wine passing through. And this is considered only for a medium quality wine, never ever for a high quality wine, because it's too heavy filtration and too invasive. Mm -hmm. For a top quality wine, you, you never do a filtration, right. you do rather a fining process. When you add a, a natural product as egg white mixed with the juice, the egg white clean the wine and you get rid of the little sediments by fining the wine, never filtrating. So you mix egg whites in it, it settles to the bottom? Bravo. The egg white helps the settling down of the sediments uh -huh. to the bottom of the tank. Uh -huh. Pump it out. And then pump out and then clean it, simply clean it. Uh -huh.